In this exercise, we will explore how to download the genomic and clinical dataset from the International Cancer Genome Consortium database, covert the data into a matrix table, and convert the ensemble annotation, or ENSGID to the Human Genome Organization, or HUGO, Genomenclature, HGSE. To download the dataset, we will first go to Google. Search for the ICGC webpage. Once you are in, you can go directly to the data portal. Go to Data Repositories. Select the Donor tab on top. Select the type of cancer that you're interested at the Primary Site tab. Next, select the project. Now, you will see that there are a lot of data under the PACAAU project, with 2,507 files in total of 26.15 terabytes. This include the aligned reads BAM files. You can download these files if you are interested to reanalyze the data. In most cases, we will just download the summary files for each donor. To do that, we will select the Donors tab on top here. Select Download Donor Data. You will get a pop-up asking you what type of data you want to download. In this case, we will select All. The data will then be downloaded to your computer. Once it is finished downloading, you can extract the files in the designated folder. You will notice that the file size is extremely huge. For example, the methylation dataset is 19 GB. You will not be able to open it with the default Notepad or Excel. You will need other software which can handle big datasets such as R or etc. In this exercise, we will use a proprietary software called Delimit, which can handle big dataset. Once you open the file in Delimit, you will soon notice that there are a lot of information that is redundant. For example, you will see that each row of the data represent a gene expression of a particular sample. The file consists of more than 4 million rows, representing the 42,000 gene expression from 96 samples. For your information, the maximum number of row Microsoft Excel can handle is 1 million. Next, we are going to convert the dataset into a matrix table which will allow us to run most of the analysis later on. First, we will remove some of the columns that are not important for us. We will retain the submitted sample ID, gene ID, and normalized read count columns. Under the Split on Column field, select the column on which you wish to split up the file. Next, under the Save Result Files in field, specify the folder where each result file will be saved. Specify the name that is to be used for each result file. Use the reserved string, %val as a placeholder for the column value that will be added to the file name. Once it is ready, click on the Split button to start splitting up the file. The operation will run in the background allowing you to continue to work. The progress indicator on the status bar will show the progress of the operation. If you need to abort the operation, press the escape key. Once it is done splitting, you can check on the files. Note that, in the designated folder, the file names are based on the submitted sample ID column in our original dataset. To form the matrix, we will now join the split files together, horizontally.
Once the joining is complete, you can open the file in Excel for further pre-processing. First, we will transform the dataset using the text to columns function. Select tab as the delimiter. Next, we will annotate the submitted sample ID on each column. Then, we will sort horizontally. To ensure that the gene ID from each sample is matched, we will use the county function in Excel. If all the gene IDs are matched, it should return a total number of sample size minus 1, which is 71. Now that we have ascertained that the gene IDs are matched, we can remove the unnecessary column and form a data matrix. Finally, we will convert the Ensemble Gene ID into the HGNC Gene Symbol. To do that, we will use the Ensemble Biomart. Go to the Filters tab in Biomart. Select Gene Stable ID under the Input External ID List tab. Copy the Ensemble Gene ID from our dataset into a Notepad document and attach this file. Then, got to the Attributes tab. Select Gene Stable ID and HGNC symbol.
Once it is ready, press count. You can obtain the results by pressing the results tab. Export the results to TSV file. Finally, you can use the VLOOKUP function in Excel to match the Ensemble Gene ID into the HGNC Gene symbol.